Zechariah, verse 1 of chapter 17 of the Gospel of John. Chapter is commonly called the High Priestly Prayer of Christ, following the three chapters in which he has delineated for his disciples the great advantages that are going to accrue to them as a result of the fact that he's going away, but of course, uh, along with that, is going to send to them the Holy Spirit, the Parakletos as he calls it. And so now we uh, introduce this moment in which Jesus now is going to begin uttering the prayer. It begins uh, tauta, uh, demonstrative pronoun, accusative, neuter, plural, these things. Uh, Elale sen, this is from laleo, I speak. It's the third person singular, aorist active indicative. So he uh, spoke these things. The subject of the verb is Jesus, so Jesus spoke these things. Kai, the connective. Eparas. This is from a combination of a couple of words joined together. Epi, preposition means upon or over, and iro, uh, which means to take up or take away. This is a, a participle now, aorist active participle. It's the masculine singular nominative. So it goes back in the nominative with the subject of the phrase. So Jesus spoke these things, and uh, having lifted up would be the idea. It's the aorist participle, so it's the idea of describing action taking place prior to the leading verb, which comes a little later. So he spoke these things, and having lifted up, and then tus, the uh, masculine plural, accusative article, the ophthalmus, the eyes from ophthalmos, an eye, this is the plural accusative of this masculine noun, so having lifted up the eyes out to, possessive pronoun, masculine, genitive, singular, the eyes of him, ace, preposition, uh, takes the accusative, tone, here's the accusative article, or renown, uh, into the heaven, so the ID lifted up his eyes, into heaven, a bone, here's the main verb. Uh, this is from Lego, I say, it's the third person singular, a active indicative, he said, and then now quoting, pater, uh, which is father, addressed here, it's the vocative, so father, addressing, of course, God the father, a leluthen, uh, this is from Erkamai. It means, uh, I come. This is the third person singular perfect active indicative. So, it has come. It has arrived would be the idea. Uh, that which has arrived, the subject of the verb is hehora, the hour. Feminine, nominative, singular noun. So, the hour has arrived. Doxason from doxadzo means to glorify. It's the second person singular, aorist active imperative, so it's a command, glorify. Uh, up front here, the possessive pronoun, second person, genitive singular, uh, and uh, the fact that it comes before the noun with which it's associated gives it a little bit of additional emphasis, so glorify of the, the son, tone huion. These are the object of the verb here, so glorify, of thee the Son. And then henna, the connective, takes the subjunctive, which we have here, in order that, ho huios, the Son, now in the nominative, the Son, doxase. Uh, this is the uh, subjunctive of the same verb that we had here, in order that the Son may glorify. This is the third person singular, aorist active subjunctive, in order that the son may glorify, se, uh, the um, second person uh, singular accusative pronoun, in order that the son may glorify thee. So this is kind of the thematic declaration at the beginning of this uh, prayer. It's a, it's a request, a command really. Uh, that the Father would glorify the Son in order that the Son might glorify the Father. And we have, of course, a theme that shows up on other occasions as well, that the Father glorifies the Son uh, so that the Son can glorify the Father in the, in the same process. And, of course, uh, that's going to be in some ways the uh, heart and subject of the ensuing prayer.